What an area to be reviewing a suit, though. Like, oh man. Well, good morning from the Bolivian Salt Flats. My name is Blake, and this is my YouTube channel, Rugged But Fancy. It's a perfect example. I rode all the way from Victoria, BC, Canada. I'm on a four month now trip. Last night, we rode across the largest salt flats in the world. We're at almost 4,000 meters. I thought, what better opportunity, what better time to talk about this? My Touratech riding suit that I've been using for over 10 years, and I have well over 100,000 kilometers on it. I've taken it all the way up to Alaska, to the Arctic Ocean, and now I've ridden all the way down to Bolivia, and I'm planning to continue heading down to Ushuaia, Argentina. I don't do a lot of reviews. In fact, this is my very first one, but I feel like I can actually talk about this suit. This is the Touratech Compañero World Suit. They have since updated it, but no one's gonna be able to give you the 10 year review of that one yet. So I wanna to talk to you about this one. The cool thing about this suit, it is beautiful for extreme temperatures. I've ridden in this suit from down to three degrees Celsius and over 50 degrees Celsius. So it's very, very versatile. The beauty of this suit is the layering. So right now you can see I'm wearing what they call the summer suit. And then I will show you a Gore-Tex oversuit that goes over this. The really nice thing about the summer suit is how breathable it is. So if I show you looking this way, you can see how breathable that mesh is. All the features are in this summer suit. So when you're wearing this, it's really light, it's really breathable, and it, you're fully protected. So it's got all the, all the armor, back, shoulders. What I love about the summer suit is how just comfortable it is. For hot weather conditions, this is absolutely beautiful. The other really nice thing about this, again, I've had this for 10 years, and it is showing hardly anywhere like i don't think i have another garment that i've had for 10 years that has held up this well so the other thing that's really nice is the fact that you put your rain layer over top i've got the Touratec 31 liter pannier here and it fits inside here so i just roll it up and pack it in here to get it on if it starts to rain it's pretty quick if it's just starting to rain really quickly i'll throw it on there's a couple zips right here Another one right here. And then you have your main zipper here. This rain layer is excellent for when it gets cold and it keeps me perfectly dry. The pants are very similar as well. They've got zippers all the way up the side here. You don't need to take your boots off to get them on. Just two little snaps, zip up the side. And the Gore-Tex liner has some really great pockets. So these are waterproof pockets here on this side because you're gonna be traveling with all your documents. It's got a nice big pocket where I'll put my passport, my insurance. When it comes to washing it, they've got directions right on the tags. You take out all the armor, turn it inside out and wash it and it comes back looking good as new. Additionally, Gore-Tex is really, really great for when you wash it, if you actually put it in the dryer, it helps the Gore-Tex. The Gore-Tex likes to be in the dryer. Probably the biggest pro that I can talk about is just the quality. The fit for me as a tall person is amazing. Every other jacket, even when I've had tall, when I go to actually put my hands out, there the sleeves come up and it drives me nuts. When you order your suit from Touratech, you can send all your measurements and they've got a great sizing chart. One of the disadvantages of this early suit is that it doesn't have a lot of venting. And so when you're riding in an area where it might be hot, but rain, and then the rain stops, you have to take the liner off or put it back on if you want to regulate. On the new suit, they've solved this by actually adding some venting on the outer layer so that if it's raining, you zip up, you're, you're good, you're waterproof, and then when the rain stops, you unzip, you get a bit more venting, and so that way you're, you're keeping cool and you're not having to wanna to take the layer on and off as often. The other downside that I might argue for the suit is the initial cost. What's funny about this suit, when I first bought it, I was riding a KLR at the time, and we were laughing that my suit was now more expensive than my KLR. While I've outgrown my KLR onto my other bike, 
I still haven't outgrown this suit. I'm still wearing this 10 years later. Again, I've got well over 100,000 kilometers and it still looks like the day I got it. The zippers work just like they did on day one. Made by Turatec in Germany, really, really high quality. It's a buy once, cry once. So finally, I wanna mention that I bought this with my own money 10 years ago and I've been very happy with that purchase. However, there is the new suit with the new features that I am eyeing up, but it has been one of the best purchases I've ever had when it comes to riding equipment. Hey, hope you enjoyed this review. Yes, it's the old suit, so you're gonna have to look at the new suit, but if it's anything like this one, I think you'll really like it. Thanks very much for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Watch my other stuff. What I mean.